This video is sponsored by Hotspot Shield. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about revenue streams and how you can actually monetize your content. And that content could be the likes of a YouTube video, it could be the likes of a video on another platform, perhaps Vimeo or uh, Vio, or just another video serving platform, or it could be the likes of content that in written form on a website, and the many ways that you can actually monetize your content and your knowledge. Now, I'm not gonna go into uh, the rates or the type or amount of money that you could actually make, because that varies depending on the popularity of your content. But I wanna talk to you about the various things that I do to monetize my content and bring in different revenue streams. So the first and most obvious one is that I produce YouTube videos. And on those videos, when you start the video up, sometimes you will see an advert come on before the video starts. Sometimes you'll see a little pop-up advert come up on the actual video whilst it's playing. And to the right, normally the top right corner of the, the page on YouTube, you'll see another advert come up there. And YouTube creators get paid per thousand. Uh, so every thousand views, they get paid a certain amount uh, of revenue at the end of each month. And sometimes they've got a qualifying period before that money gets paid out. So you might wait a month and a half before you get paid the money for the previous month. And it's a small amount, it's not a massive amount. I would say that the top 1,000 YouTubers are probably on much better rates than the thousands and thousands and thousands of creators that live on YouTube alongside them. So we often look for different ways to monetize our content. Now I have a supporting website, the Geekanoids website, where I place adverts. Some of those adverts are Google AdSense ads, so I only get paid if somebody clicks through and looks at the advertiser's website. And some of those adverts are sponsored adverts, where the company that's actually placed the ad on the website pays a monthly or a quarterly or a yearly fee for putting that advert onto the website. And many uh, other websites, many of the mainstream websites, monetize their content in the same fashion. And then a third way you can actually earn an extra revenue stream is through uh, affiliate schemes. Now there are quite a few different affiliate schemes but they work on the same principle. Um, when you see a YouTuber maybe talk about audible.com, uh, or, or a similar sort of service, maybe Squarespace, then when somebody goes through to that website and uses the affiliate code that that particular creator has given you, and they maybe sign up for a free trial, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes when you sign up for a free trial, that particular creator will get a little bit of a kickback, a little bit of commission for you trying out the service. On other occasions, they will only get a little bit of kickback or commission when you actually pay for that service. So when you turn into a subscriber for Audible, the person who took you to that particular service will get a little bit of commission. So these affiliate schemes exist, and if a YouTuber or a creator is very popular and they're sending a lot of referrals to this new service, then they will earn a reasonable amount of extra money, another revenue stream. For myself, I mainly do Amazon links. So I will post in the video description of this video and all of my videos on YouTube. And I will also share with you great deals on Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus, deals for products that are on Amazon. And you can use these links to actually make your purchase. Now the beauty of this is that when you go through to the Amazon website using one of my links, you can purchase the product without it costing you any more. You get exactly the same price as everybody else and I get a little bit of commission on your sale. So if you buy something for, I don't know, say 20 or 30 pounds, I might get a pound commission from it. And that really helps me and other creators to continue producing great content. And it's not just YouTubers that do this, you'll see Amazon product links on many, many websites. And again, if you click through and make that purchase, that particular website gets a little bit of kickback, a little bit of commission, and, and you, have paid no extra for the product. So it's just a great way of you saying thank you and to uh, support the content creator. You're saying you appreciate the content. Yeah, I don't mind using your link. Here's a little bit of a kickback for you. So they are different ways of actually creating revenue. And there are many other ways. You can take sponsorship. 
Sometimes you see small adverts at the beginning of videos whereby uh, a payment might have been made or a sponsor might have supported that creator with equipment and you give them a little advert or a little shout out within a video, that is another revenue stream. And I think it's very important for creators nowadays to have many, many different revenue streams. Now I've only just touched on a few that are available. There are many other ways you can monetize your content, but they're the main ones that I use and the people within the tech community that I communicate with actually use as well. So I hope that's helped you. If you've got any questions or indeed any tips and tricks with regards to monetizing your content, leave them in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like button as always if you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.